Good evening. So tonight we're going to be cooking buffalo drumsticks. Um, we're also going to be cooking a squash and zucchini side dish. So this is going to be another one of those inexpensive meals. I was able to get some chicken uh, for $2.07. I'm going to be using salt, pepper, um, garlic and chili powder for seasoning. Um, I'm also going to be using butter, hot sauce, barbecue sauce, and some olive oil. And you'll see what I'm going to do with all of that. Okay, so with my oven preheated to 375, we're going to go ahead and rinse our chicken and pat it dry. Okay, so what I did was I got a bowl. I got two tablespoons of oil, um, a teaspoon of chili powder and garlic powder, salt and pepper, and I just shook it around. Um, you can also use a bag. I just don't have any right now. Okay, so we're going to bake this in the oven for about 50 minutes. Um, we basically want it to get really juicy. Um, while it's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and make my sauce, and then I'm going to make the squash and zucchini. So for your sauce, you're going to use a half a stick of butter, you're going to use one tablespoon of barbecue sauce and one fourth cup of um, hot sauce and you're going to stir it all up. Now I'm using Stubbs Original Barbecue Sauce because it only has um, five grams of carb every two tablespoons. Uh, so I have not been able to find a barbecue sauce that has less carbs than this. If you have or know one, please let me know. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and prepare my squash and zucchini. So I picked up the um, squash, it was about 63 cent. The zucchini, I want to say 75 cent. Um, and I picked up some Parmesan cheese, which was $2.50 at Target. Um, for this meal, you only need a couple sprinkles. So, you know, maybe you already have a kind of cheese and then you don't have to go out and buy any. This meal takes about uh, 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes to cook. So you may want to cook it when your chicken is almost done. That way your, um, your both of your meals are still warm. So what you want to do is get a half tablespoon of oil, a half tablespoon of butter. Go ahead and heat your pan up. Okay, so go ahead and add your squash and zucchini to your pan. You want to try to make your um, squash and zucchini as even as possible. Okay, so we're going to let this cook for about two to three minutes um, without stirring it up, without touching it. We basically want to let it get kind of golden brown. Okay, so now we're going to sprinkle it with a little salt and pepper, and then we're going to stir it up. Now, I might have let mine sit for a little too long, because uh, they're not really golden brown. They're more like dark brown. <laughs> Now, depending on how soft um, or hard you want it will determine how long you cook it. I, might, I like mine a little hard, um, so I cooked it for about five to seven minutes. So now we're going to sprinkle a little cheese on it and let that melt. And that is basically it. Um, it is the most easiest thing that you could ever cook and it's absolutely delicious. So the chicken has been cooking for about 30 minutes. I've rotated them twice. Um, they're really starting to look juicy. So we're gonna let them cook for 20 more minutes. All right, so now that our chicken has been cooking for about 50 minutes, we're gonna grab our chicken and we're gonna toss it in our sauce and then we're gonna cook it for an additional 10 minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna take our chicken out and see what we are working with. All right guys, so this is it. These are my buffalo drumsticks. They are delicious, they are juicy, they are hot. You gotta try them. Now the squash and zucchini, I would recommend doubling um, your recipe to get two zucchinis and two squash because it's not really a lot. Um, also, I would recommend using like some fresh grated Parmesan. Um, it probably would taste a little better. <laughs> 